you know, Tempest's advance. But at the same time, you give Tempest a little bit more room to, to vibe out over in the mid screen. We put out H Fireball and then we get the step dash behind it, right? So both of these players, I think, are, are ready and willing to switch up the play style like at a moment's notice. You know, play super passive, then all of a sudden run up or IAD or pull up with a Leo 2D from downtown. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, that, that H Fireball there on Leo is going to be a big factor too to shut down Danny's Fireball game because Danny mm -hmm. likes to utilize TK uh, Fireball and Grounded Fireballs to kind of force the opponent to approach in a certain angle. Well, when you're going up against Leo, who has those anti-zoning Fireballs, he can just shut that down altogether. Man. Yeah, let's see it. Looking to shut down the aggression from Danny here, but we're heading on into it. Another top eight winner side qualifier, Danny on the Kai versus Tempest NYC's Leo. Yeah, but you see already that heavy fireball taking down the heavy stun edge from Danny. But Danny just running up and throwing out the 5H to blow through it into the ride, the lightning. Wait, 5H threw the H Fireball into the Wild Assault confirm was kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. That was pretty nice. Danny Almaza. He might be nasty with it. All right, there we go. Get the Axe Kick. Tumble State to the Windshield Wipers. And hard knockdown here. Left, right incoming. Ooh, instead, we try to bait out a DP. Recognized how much meter Danny had to play the defensive game. First blood. Danny? They stole oh. one little yeah. sliver. King survives, he's got the health insurance. YRC immediately. I thought we were gonna bait it off from Danny, but maybe just a little bit too antsy. All good, because we got IADJS for the first round. Yeah, it's pretty rare to see Danny versus Tempest. So this is really exciting. Yeah, right? I love this. He's keeping the head empty about neutral, which is the way. It's the most backhanded compliment I've ever seen, but it's working <laughs> out, right? You know, we're just swinging at the skies. JS, run up to bait the DP. Knows you're feeling a little antsy with it. And now no burst on either side. Yeah, and utilizing that guard point too to approach on the fireball game there from Danny. You can see that Tempest has not really had an issue with these fireballs at all. Has constantly just been moving forward. And that's a lot of ground that Danny is giving up and we're sitting there trying to throw out these fireballs as pokes. Ooh. And especially when we whiff those DPs. Wow. There we go. One defensive read for another. Baited out the DP, but this time Tempest seals out the round with it. Immediately just sending out the bar slash. Yes, Chad is correct. These two characters are uh, in canon co-workers. They're both kings mm -hmm. of Illyria. One exactly. of the uh, great open kings. up from Danny. They're like two department heads in the in different offices. But now 50 meter available for Danny. Sticks out the far slash. But now we stick out the little leggy, the 5K to look for the whip punish here from Tempest. Still 100 meter here on Danny's side. We have a lot of Ooh. options. Just look for the one of 2P. Oh, G, ride the light. One? Sorry, I'm done. Oh, got a decent. I, all I, good, all I good. I do not know any of the. <laughs> the fact that the super <laughs> no highs in the health bar makes it a little I'm harder done. to see. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. Okay. Gold burst was to avoid the air throw. That was huge. We gold burst right back. Alright, H Fireball just gonna stand still, does not want to let go of any of that screen space, but instead gets kicked right in the gut with a 6K. We wow. got DBRC for game number one. He bleeds. Yeah, he bleeds, but it was a tough fight there for Danny by the skin of his teeth, able to take game number one. Yo, that's impressive as hell. <laughs> Why does H Fireball win neutral? It's the H Fireball for Leo is designed specifically to blow up other characters' fireballs. It is made so that Leo can get in because he has that box stash. So that's why it basically blows up every other projectile in the game. <laughs> Yeah, the anti-zoning really is clean. I'm not going to lie to you. It goes slow enough that you're able to approach behind it rather than, oh, this fireball is so fast. Now, you know, it's progressed so far across the screen. I can't control any of that space with it. But game number two. And I mean, we saw Tempest lose, you know, the first game pretty decisively against Daze and then turn it up immediately three games in a row. So wouldn't be surprised if we see something like that going up next. Still, Danny holding on. Sometimes that first game is just data, right? And you already see Tempest kind of changing the pace a little bit here, not being as aggressive, kind of giving Danny room to make mistakes, but that mistake is made from Tempest with the whip 2D, ride the lightning for the positive bonus. Yep, already down to 50%, looking for that 50 on the meter, ID back from Tempest, looking for this counter poke, JH into the scramble afterwards, finds the pickup with the RC. Oh, into the run through, steals the corner, goes right back in. Oh, there he is. Oh, got caught in the dash. 
second burst there from Tempest. That's a bit of a hero burst. You don't have meter to back it up. You have to feel confident in your play to get in. Oh Even my god! If you're god. able to win this round. Yo, Tempest is too clean with it. Jobber, you were talking about it just before. The anti-projectile projectile going right through the stun edge. Yeah, so strong there. But Danny answering back immediately. Spends all of the burst gates just to get the positive bonus. Mm -hmm. Alright, TK Fireball. You mentioned that being a really staple tool of Danny's toolkit right now. 50% still available for the Ride the Lightning. But we're going to use the Sacred Edge to apply that Shock State. Protect. The people's elbow, 6P coming through. Oh my lord. Mm -hmm. Again, a chance for Danny to go up 2 0 here. This is actually huge for Danny at the moment. Pretty good on burst gauge as well. First, Tempest sends it. It is going to blow up the heavy stun edge startup. Fireball for fireball. I was really thinking the JH would just be a little bit too shallow, but Tempest, master of the spacing, has you up against the wall, up against the ropes now. Now one touch away from tying it up. Okay. He press on the Gets 2K. Out of the corner. Yep. Challenge on the early okay. pillar. They're not afraid of the 2K 2D frame chat. Danny finds the RC with a pickup. Wild Assault still available post wall stick for another hard knockdown. But you can't, you can't do anything because either Flash Geek or Super is going to come out. There it is! Holy right on crap. Q. Safe jump mistimed, and now your life is forfeit. The dangerous aerial. No safe jump here. The pillar puts a game on the board for Tempest. We are tied up. One a piece. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked that Danny rushed right on in. Mistimed that safe jump and got blown up. But with a 100 meter, Leo lying in their back, they're 100% either waking up with Super or Flash Kick. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there is no way they're not doing something. Oops. Speaking of doing something at the round start, I like the delay 2S just to catch up the micro dash from Danny, but still gonna get dire clouded into the corner. Oh, there we go, just poking through that heavy fireball as well. That is the counterplay to it, and also blocks the burst. Danny's adaptation to the next level here. Double tap on the dome. JP, JP catches you trying to jump back, but still a huge life lead for Tempest to try and bring back. And we have Stun Dipper RC, the quick check on the toes. Beautiful, beautiful. And now Danny once again in another position to go up 2-1 here against Tempest. Huge punish there on the fireball with the counter hit. We spend the wild assault. It's all about that resource management. Are you willing to spend your resources to snowball even heavier? If you can get that wall break, you're going to build them right back. Yep. And I like the backdash here coming out from Danny. A lot of times post wall break, round start, we've been looking for these armored options, for these counter poke options. Coming out from Tempest now, leaning into the split punish. Sacred Edge available. Hard knockdown ready and gets the safe kick as well off of the 5k. And what a poke, RC. Last second burst there from Tempest staying alive, but this is a tall mountain to climb. And the close Ooh. flash on the other side is going to put Danny up another game. Wow. Big upset potentially incoming here, which I mean, I assume no matter who beats Tempest is probably an upset. Oh, uh, for sure. <laughs> but what, what seed is Danny? Danny is seed nine. So, yeah, Danny has torn it up, you know, on the Strive online scene in particular. Also making it out to some offline stuff as well. You know, someone brought up Lord Knight's Invitational more recently and still able to hold on to such strong performances. But, you know, it just goes to show you the prestige of Tempest, right? That it would still be an upset if Danny is able to put one more game on the board. I mean, you think about the last three, uh, some of the three of the last offline majors, Tempest has won them. <laughs> yeah. He's the world champ. Well, I mean, or or Varric, but he's won the most yeah. things recently. Exactly. Here we go. Some wild wild assault, hard wild. knockdown. But the top player differential is always there. We can never count them out, no matter how down they are. They always have one last trick up their sleeve for a reason. Absolutely. And Danny, you know, one of the one of the few high level Kai's here in North America, so the matchups not as easily found. Kai especially has great tools to deal with Leo here, but there's the flash kick coming through. Yep, send it with the S the ball. We just set all the jump punches in the world, just trying to find any air-to-air -to, -air to seal it out. Danny just barely at a slipper right now. 
putting Tempest in the same situation too, Ooh. as forces out the burst. You tried to swing past the fireball, but I love the dash up from Tempest just to make sure that the startup hits caught you out. Yeah, that was incredibly smart, right? Has already seen that trick twice, so now using the 50 meter to cover it. Covers that jump as well with the anti-air 5P. Danny going through the wall. Tempest looking to take this to game five. Right, TK Fireball once again, plus frames off of the Fuja arc, but Tempest still gonna send the 2k. I wonder if that kind of backdash from Danny, it's catching a lot of health for sure. Oh, look at that oh. backdash there again, trying to bait out some kind of reversal option from Tempest into the heavy stun edge to get the shock state applied. As a Smash player, I have zero clue what is happening. The blonde. I was going to call him Blonde Twink. The Blonde King is doing flips on it. Meanwhile, Tempest is trying to put himself into the back turn to try and mix you up with a high, low, but hits you behind the back here with the JS, and it is enough to wall splat. Don't even need the 50 meter. It's a 5P for the round. He's doing flips on it while the black hair guy is trying to hit back shots? That's crazy, J2. Oh, shit. <laughs> She was too. Right, the woman was too stunned to speak. Going to game five, baby, again <laughs> for the like ninth time tonight. Going the distance, yeah. Apparently, this is a uh, a run back of the Lord Knight Invitational where they also made it to that final game. So I don't know. I think uh, going into this, they might have prepped to meet each other once again in the bracket okay. and met once again with the round star far slash. And the best part is my sandwich is downstairs, and I cannot wait to get it. I'm so hyped. <laughs> Heavy stunage coming through. Oh, man. Imagine a perfect. Uh-oh, but there we go, DP. No perfect, no pressure. You were imagining, but Tempest woke you up out of the daydream. The stun dipper, RC, not going to spend the burst. Oh, damn. Tempest facing his winner's life right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, burst still on the field, though, for both of these players here. So anything can happen. Utilizing the guard point to power through the heavy stun edge. The way Kai fans, Danny fans, send your energy. Tempest holding on strong, taking a decent amount of health here. Can we boss up for final game, final round? 50 meter available, oh. but I like Danny taking hey. to the skies here and kicking you straight out of the jump. <laughs> Insane pickup gets the shock state applied as well, but we try oh. to go for a throw. Beautiful jump out from Tempest. Danny didn't have the meter yet to RC it. Nice. Oh my okay, Lord. straight into the super. All the corner carry in the world for the hard knockdown. He's Tempest gonna close it here. is just gonna tie this up. Still 100 meter. Oh! Oh my god, the burst! Just ride the lightning! Do it, Danny! Ah! Send it 100 oh meter to your name, BRC, no! and still more meter in the mix! And if the air 5D is enough, the RC with the walk back, Danny moves on to winner's top eight, sending Tempest into the loser's side. How did we get two anti air 5Ds in this top 64? <laughs> wow! Dude. Tempest! Why does it keep working? In losers before top eight. Whew. The what? slowdown on the BRC led to the scramble. Why are we looking for anti or 5D and Jobber? Why is it working? I do not know. Is that the secret? Is that the secret?